Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Blockchain WTF. You might have heard that term blockchain being thrown around a lot lately, and today I'm here to tell you what is a blockchain. In order to do that, we have to go back. I'm talking way back to the beginning of recorded history. You know what's tough then? Keeping records. Keeping track of inventory and who owes what has always been a struggle. The solution that ancient civilizations came up with is a method called double entry bookkeeping. This system calls for two separate ledgers maintained by separate parties that keep track of all debits and credits, kind of like a balance sheet. To say this method has caught on is a massive understatement. This has been the underpinning of our financial systems ever since, and we're talking thousands of years. Our whole banking system is built upon this principle with only the bank and you having access to your record of transactions. In response to the 2008 financial crisis, a new technology was outlined and would later become known as blockchain. Blockchain is a decentralized ledger that records all transactions, yet is viewable by the public. The transaction is permanently recorded to the blockchain and cannot be changed by anybody. This essentially created an extra digital ledger distributed to anyone who wants to view these transactions. This creates a level of accountability as most ledgers would have to be changed in order for that to become the truth on the blockchain. The name blockchain largely refers to the structure of the technology. Blocks contain data that represents these transactions, and when a block is mined or created, all data contained in that block becomes canon and is added to the chain permanently. All ledgers are updated to recognize this new consensus. Blocks are then linked together to form a chain and can be referred back to at any time. Although it was the blockchain's first purpose, the use cases for blockchain technology are not limited to currency. Users have used blockchain technology to keep permanent, immutable records, perfect for purposes such as voting or keeping track of who owns what. There are several other industries that are heavily researching the impact of blockchain technology, and they include law firms that are looking into programmable smart contracts that could enforce legal agreements without expensive third parties. Governments are looking for more secure and record keeping on the blockchain, and also to increase efficiency in their operations. Accounting firms are turning to the blockchain to look for a better way to conduct assurance. And we haven't even mentioned banking or finance, which blockchain offers several potential applications. The potential use cases for blockchain are numerous, which only makes the technology more exciting because of the potential impact to many different industries. But a lot of this is still conceptual. That's quickly changing. The technology is young, less than 10 years old. It's kind of like the internet was in 1989. Lots of potential for disruptive technology and use cases are quickly turning concept into reality. People are talking about blockchain like it's going to be the next evolution of the internet. With the lack of privacy and control provided by the current internet, it's only natural that users would be looking to retain some of these rights. The creation of blockchain gave us the realization that we could, in fact, actually have a better internet that provides for more freedom. Currently, we place a lot of trust into centralized institutions and some of them have exploited that trust. Banks in 2008 are the perfect example. Hacks are routine, businesses are trying to use your personal data for profit, so it's very difficult to claim that there's any real level of privacy on the current internet. Think about it this way. Trust makes the world go around. You have basic assurances with every purchase you make. You're placing trust not only in the producer to get you the product you bought, but also a third-party payment processor. With a blockchain, trust does not have to be placed into a person or a centralized group of people. The technology is the only thing that has to be trusted, which mitigates the opportunity for fraud and generally unscrupulous actions. And that's a rundown of what is a blockchain. It's kind of a heady concept, so if you have any questions or discussion topics, throw those down below in the comments and we'll be happy to get back to you. Also be sure to like our video to show your appreciation, please, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Head over to blockchain.wtf for all your cryptocurrency and blockchain information needs. This has been Jeremy of Blockchain WTF, and I'll see you next time.